Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to make a very uh, very sentimental dish, right? Because uh, it's a fish. I've never made fish so far among my in my 19 uh, dishes. So this is a fish. It's going to be a steamed fish. Uh, twist on a tail, as usual, of course. 20 minutes goes without saying. So this is something my mother used to make. Um, you know, and I'm talking late 70s, early 80s. And the fish she used to use was uh, something called the hilsa, or as, as in call it in English. But it's a, it's, it's, it's a national fish of Bangladesh. And most Indians would know that. It has a salmon-like property where it swims upstream to spawn. And then my mother used to put these chunks of this fish in a, in a, in a you know, uh, a steel box with ginger, onion, mustard oil, and then put it in the pressure cooker because in India those days we didn't have steamers, right? Concept didn't exist. And then pressure cook it with water on it. So it kind of steams within it. So I'm going to take uh, the flavors that she used to use uh, with a twist. So instead of because this fish called uh, Hilsa or uh, Elisa, as they call it in English, it's a river fish, it's extremely bony. Um, and Yash is here, so I'm making it for myself, Yash, and you know, I'm going to just do the variation instead of using Hilsa, I'm going to use salmon filet. So these are, sorry, sole filet, uh, you know, uh, no bones. Um, and then for the ingredients, I've got uh, uh, three garlic, chunk of ginger, uh, three shallots. Of course, in India, it used to be red onion and a lot of coriander. Right, kind of three-fourth bowl of coriander. I'm going to make this. Uh, this is going to go as a uh, kind of a paste with oil, and I'll show you how I do that. And these two ingredients, I'll first oil, you know, little oil, fry it, and then add add in that. The reason I fry it with the oil is because I don't want the very strong flavor to come in. So this one chunk red chili, and again, I'm being careful because Yash is going to have this, so I'm not putting too much and about a teaspoon of uh, cumin powder, cumin seeds. So I'm going to fry these things first and then add this and mash it up, you know, grind it, blend it, and then uh, do the uh, sole uh, uh, filet, steamed sole filet. So I'm going to take you through the process, yeah? All right, let's take the next step. Hi, so I've got, uh, you know, I'm just going to put a little bit of mustard oil. Again, I'm, you know, going back from the east, it's always mustard oil. Uh, you can use olive oil, but I, the mustard oil brings in its own flavor. So it's like once the pan is hot, all I'm going to do is chunk it up and put the cumin powder, oh, sorry, the cumin seeds. And I'm going to just, uh, you know, kind of let it crackle. All right, now I'm going to make the marination uh, for the steamed fish. Got coriander, put a lump of coriander there. And uh, then I've got my shallots, ginger, garlic, put all of it here and the roasted uh, uh, cumin, uh, not roasted, oil uh, fried cumin and the dread chili. So I'm going to put that all in. I'm doing a very unthinkable thing, scrapping with a spoon on a non-stick cookware which is not something hygienic but never mind. Uh, it doesn't do well for that dish so that's going in. And then I'm going to put a little bit of mustard oil, kind of one teaspoon. And then I'm going to put a little bit of uh, salt, uh, kind of one spoon of salt. I'm going to cover it up and I'm going to blend it. I'm going to keep quiet when blending because a lot of noise. So I put the rest of the coriander and I'm going to put a little bit, a little bit of lemon. Uh, kind of gives it that tangy flavor as well as, uh, you know, marinates well. So that's the lemon. And then I'm going to just blend this before I add it. Hi, so my marinade is done. This is where I'm going to put this to steam. But before I marinate, what I'm going to do is take a knife and kind of slice it, kind of not cut it through, but just slice it, slice the sole filet so that it kind of takes the, uh, don't do it all the way through, but enough for the uh, sole filet to get the, 
let me turn this around it makes sense then so I'm gonna just cut it like you know enough so that it goes in not through through but just enough for the tick no, that, that's done <clears throat> and uh, what I'm gonna do now is take this and you know the slit reverse it that's it right so that it absorbs the thing so salt oil it's all done and you know what the best part is uh, when this is steaming uh, the juice that comes out you can you can use that to kind of um, have your rice with so nothing goes wasted right so I remember doing it this way so I'm gonna just reverse it so that it's kind of goes into the sleep that I have done and I'm gonna marinate it for about uh, 15 20 minutes and just 10 minutes before dinner I'm gonna just uh, steam it and I'll show you the steamer now I have a steamer so that helps my cause but if you don't have a steamer you can use uh, uh, you know like normal steaming devices that you get uh, so this is all covered up properly and the juice that will come out of this is what I am going to, uh, you know, have them rice with. So, and I'll show you when I when it's all done uh, after I put it in the steamer. So, cover it well, and it's such an easy and quick dish to make, right? So that's all gone in. So I'm going to let this kind of marinate for about. 20 minutes typically before I'm going to put in the steamer and if Julie can show the steamer so I've got the steamer here this is this is this is my steamer so you know I'm going to show you later how I'm going to steam the thing uh, but if you don't have a steamer part of your kitchen it then um, you can use any you know you get those normal the Chinese um, you know wok you can put it put this there and then use the cover uh, to kind of high, you know, high, high, high flame, and then have it. So, I'm going to let that steam, uh, kind of set for about 15, 20 minutes. Dinner is about 8:30, and I'll show you how do uh, how do I take the steaming process through. Yep. All right. Now my fish has been marinating for about 15 minutes, and my steamer is ready. So I'm just going to put in the steamer for 15 minutes. So I'm going to steam it for 15 minutes, right? Uh, and if you don't have a steamer, a kitchen steamer, you can use a normal wok with normal steam for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna just steam it for roughly 15 minutes, right? Put it in and I'm gonna close it for 15 minutes and the fish is ready. So when it's ready, I'll just uh, take the last shot. Yep, cheers. All right, hi. So. Um, <clears throat> the fish has steamed for about uh, 15 minutes. There goes the alarm. So I'm going to switch that off. Switch off my steamer. And then take out the fish, which is ready by now. Let me just take it out first. It's beautifully done. And it's ready. And that sauce that you see can be used with rice. And... Uh, well, that's the steamed fish uh, sole filet made in 20 minutes and I'm going to enjoy it.